Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here with another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. We're starting on the new wave. Uh, we're starting with action figure number 103, Zori Bliss from The Rise of Skywalker. Really nice looking figure. Uh, can't wait to take this one out. Just look on the back. Pause and read the little bio there on the back if you like. Otherwise, let's open it up and crack in and have a look. All right, here she is. First one of the rank, we have Zori Bliss, uh, played by Kerry Russell in Star Wars Episode Nine. This is a really, really nice figure. Um, the vintage collection version was quite nice too, um, but it was just really, really small. She's quite a petite little um, little character. Um, not petite like Babu Frick, but <laughs> not little like Babu Frick, but she is quite small and slender, but this is a really really nice representation of the character and it looks it looks fantastic um i'm really excited to to have this one in the collection it's just such a cool look um i just i love the look of the helmet i think that's a really really cool design i love the just the mix with the sort of bronze armor and the sort of deep maroon of the jumpsuit Looks look really good as well as the very sort of piratey sort of musket inspired pistols that she dual wields which looks great. So we'll get a close look up at her helmet. See some of the features. It's the way it's put together is really really nice. It's really great details. Now the one bonus thing with this is the visor does come off, um, basically from the moment in the movie where she flicks flips it up, and you get to see her see her eyes. So they've done the uh, photo reel face deco there with at least the top half of her face. But seeing as we don't see her without the rest of the helmet in the movie, they didn't need to do the rest of it. So, but it's a nice feature. It looks quite good. I personally like the visor on. I like the sort of sense of anonymity that it gives her. And it is just a cool looking helmet. That visor looks sick. I'm really liking the sort of over the shoulder and top of the chest there around the back, that piece looks great too. There's some ornate sort of stuff on those bands there on her arm. The details in the belt are fantastic. It follows around the back too. Bronze on the gauntlets there, looks great. Holsters are working holsters and they seem to be attached to the leg. They look like they've just sort of pegged in, but they could just be glued. And black boots. I just really like the brown touch just at the top of the boots there, that looks good too. They're just a really cool looking character. Let's look at our blasters. They are both the same. We'll look on the other side, which is the same thing. They look really nice. They fit in very well with the aesthetic of the character. Uh, articulation wise, she has a ball jointed head, which gives a lot of movement. You can actually see that ball socket up through the top there. She's got a ball jointed neck as well, at the base of the neck. So we'll just get her into some rocket, uh, what is it? The Rocketeer poses there. Um, which seems to be the main inspiration for the for the look of Zori, uh, the Rocketeer. Uh, she also has ball hinged elbows, ball hinged elbows. <laughs> said that twice. Ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists. A joint in the upper torso, ball jointed hips, swivel cuts at the thighs, double joint in the knees, and ball hinged ankles. So, 
awesome articulation, great poses, great looking figure. Um, really, really excited to have this one in the collection. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Back with the next video. Until then, may the force be with you.